Hi friends and new friends. You know, the Dash network just passed a major milestone, which is the 7% block reward reduction. So what is the 7% block reward reduction? Why is it important? And how and why does it differ from Bitcoin, even though both are proof of work coins? Find out in this episode. I'm Christopher Carruthers, also known as Tao of Satoshi, and you're watching Cash Alternative TV. So what is Cash Alternative TV other than that catchy jingle? Well, it's a show about cryptocurrency with a focus on Dash, which aims to be a digital cash for the world, an alternative to cash. If that's something that you're interested in, you want to learn more about Dash or just want to hang out with me some more, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss an episode. And I'd like to say thank you to all the, my subscribers this far. I recently just passed 1800 subscribers. It's been a long go after I stopped uh, making videos for about a year, but I've just been going back into it. And I've been seeing the numbers steadily increase, so I appreciate that. Thank you guys. You keep me going, keep me wanting to make new content, so I appreciate that. Now onto the topic of today's show. So before we go into this presentation, it's going to help to define some terms. First, what is proof of work? Dash is a proof of work coin, which means that mining computers solve complex math equations to generate new blocks of transactions on the blockchain. And as a reward for doing this, the network issues them a set amount of newly minted coins. And these coins are added to the available supply, so they're able to be used uh, for sending transactions, receiving transactions, or buying or selling. So to mimic actual mining, where the commodity becomes scarcer over time, the network automatically lowers the block reward in certain periods of time, but uh, different networks handle it differently. And this is known as a block reward reduction. So now you're all caught up and you can enjoy my presentation. So welcome to this presentation. I know that you guys have uh, indicated that you like these kind of presentations, so I'm going to continue doing them. It's kind of uh, examining the Dash blogs that come out and uh, giving my own uh, two cents with them and kind of explaining them a little bit further. So happy you could join me. So this one, obviously, as you heard from the intro, is about uh, Dash's yearly 7% inning. So you might have heard about uh, Bitcoin's uh, halving that comes up every four years. Every four years, the, uh, the emissions that I've told you what the emissions are, they go down 50% every, uh, every year, every four years. So it's kind of a, an abrupt shock to the system. It takes a while for it to um, you know, catch up and have everything going, going well again when it comes to uh, all the balances of mining and rewards and everything else that goes with the, the, the uh, emission schedule. But for Dash, we do it in a 7% inning. So this is the recent uh, Dash blog that just came out. And this particular blog was written by uh, Fernando Gutierrez. You may know him as uh, Dash's uh, chief uh, marketing officer. And uh, he's the one who writes about this Dash yearly 7% inning. It's uh, called Dash's yearly emission reduction of 7.14%. So like I mentioned, instead of going from like from 50%, so say if there's 25 Bitcoins that are emi emitted every, every block, it goes right to 12.5 so it just like cuts it off completely so the the people that are mining might not have as much of an incentive to mine anymore so that's a big deal when it comes to that so with dash it's a bit more of a gradual decline and it's also showing that uh, things are getting more scarce and uh, dash is actually getting more scarce now so it's not a happening like i mentioned this is how the, uh, the blog goes. Block 126.1441 was mined at 4.31.33 p.m. UTC. Dash just reduced its emission of new coins by around points, uh, by 7.14%. Uh, there's always plenty of conversation around Bitcoin's having, like I said, because of all the, uh, the, the stuff that goes on, all the, the, um, the ways that it can affect the network. And it seems the closer the event, the more people discuss it. Every four years, the number of new coins created in each block is re reduced by 50%. This will happen for the third time around May 11th, 2020. So in just about two weeks time, it's going to be happening now. This is always a long awaited event because it reduces inflation, makes it more scarce, as I mentioned, and stresses the scarcity of the asset. People speculate endlessly on its effect on price, thus all the interest in this sort of event. So it is a big deal. It's uh, something that creates uh, less of a supply of an asset. So it definitely makes an asset more scarce. And uh, in theory, it should become more valuable over time. So with Dash, we have a smoother block reward reduction than Bitcoin because of uh, the various things that happen in the network. A big, a big one is because of the treasury. So we have a treasury that uh, you're, you have to get um, blocks, you have to get rewards from the network. 
And if somebody budgets for a reward that's going to be a certain amount, and then the next block that comes out, it all of a sudden gets cut in half, it's uh, not doesn't doesn't do very well for budgeting. So that's just one example of why Dash has the system that it has. Another one is uh, to make sure miners and uh, miners and uh, master nodes don't have to have this uh, shock up to the system every every four years, and make sure it goes down a little bit more smoothly. So it says Dash is a fork of Bitcoin and operates under the same set of limited and predictable emission principles, but with a different implementation that smooths the emission curve. Instead of doing a very drastic adjustment every four years, Dash has, does a smaller one roughly every year. Today's reduction was the sixth since Dash was launched. The sixth one, so it's been six years since Dash has been uh, around. It's, uh, it's uh, an old man on the block when it comes to cryptocurrency. A software emission curve faci facil uh, easy for me to say, facilitates planning for those who get paid from the blockchain. Since the Dash blockchain pays not only to miners but to masternodes and approved proposal owners, this feature is key for the long-term health of our ecosystem. So yeah, it's, it definitely makes things easier for everybody, but it also accomplishes the same goal of making things more scarce in the long term. So we're flattening the curve here in Dash. As you uh, know from uh, COVID-19, we have uh, uh, what's called flattening the curve, and it looks similar to this. You know, at the beginning, you have uh, the, the mission going up at a high rate, and then over time, it starts going down, and then eventually it's just going to flatten. It's going to be a set amount of Dash that's going to be ever created. So this is, uh, he, will, he says, I won't get into how this affects the price of Dash. There are many other factors to consider. However, I will say that getting one Dash is now more difficult than it was yesterday, so I appreciate the ones you have. You can find more details on Dash's emission rate on our wiki, and I'll be putting that in the description below. So what do you think about uh, Dash's system and how it compares to Bitcoin? And uh, are you happy that uh, everything is going to become more scarce, or you uh, want to see Dash being uh, more linear instead of flattening the curve as we have here? So let me know in the comments below, and uh, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Bye for now. Well, that was my presentation about the 7% block reward reduction. Uh, it definitely is different in Dash, and there's uh, reasons behind it, and now you know what those reasons are. That's it for me today. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and click the bell if you want to see more from me in Cash Alternative TV episodes. Until next time, remember, Dash is a better money for a better future. And that future is getting closer every day. Bye for now.